Online shopping is a nearly $100 billion industry in the U.S. It accounts for about 8% of all sales starting next week. Social media giant Instagram will join the action. It will allow users to buy products they see on the platform with a few taps of a button. Retailers tag the products in their posts. When you see an ad, you can tap for product information. That directs you to a details page with a Shop Now button, and that leads to the company's website. Mike Krieger is co-founder of Instagram. Mike, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being yeah. here. Thanks for having me. Great to have you. Did this come out of requests from, from users or from advertisers? A little bit of both. So when we saw what people were already doing on Instagram, and you even see the comments, they would write often, hey, I really like that sweater. Where can I buy it? I get it yeah. um, or the retailer would say, oh, you know, you go to our website, search for this is really cumbersome. So a lot of what we like to do at Instagram is watch what people are doing and try to make it way more you know, easy to do. Um, and that's where it really came out of. So we're excited to take something that people were trying to do but having a hard time doing and then make it really easy and just seamless end to end. Does, does Instagram get a cut of that in some way then? So right now it's just about getting people connected to the product um, and then just really connecting them to, to where they can actually go shop uh, on that retailer site. But some way, some someday yes, in the future, right you can say, oh, I think we're headed in a certain direction here, are we, Mike? Let me take 5% yeah. of that. Let me take a little off the top. Yeah, so it's all about, you know, getting that, that connection. And, you know, we've seen businesses use Instagram from the very beginning, which has been fun. You know, it's not just a place. Um, it's hopefully a place where you connect with your friends, but it's also a place where you can find out more about things that you're really excited about, you know, buying as well. well Did you know that BuzzFeed called Gail King the queen of Instagram? Well, I, well at, and she listen, is. No, no, at the table, we are all big Instagram users, and I loved Anthony's intro to you that said social media giant. Yeah. Instagram. That must feel good when you hear that. It's been a crazy ride. So we just turned six years old. Yeah. Um, my co-founder Kevin and I started this thing six years ago. Do you two still get along? We get along really well okay. still, which I, I love. <laughs> you know, it's great to have somebody that you can work with for six years and still be excited to work with. And No, but I remember when I was out at Instagram, there were a lot of cool kids in the room. And now I think it's interesting, your take on politics. You've got a new campaign that just started called Where I Stand. Because yeah. you said millennials have been complaining, hey, our voices aren't being heard. Yeah, and like you mentioned earlier, I think there is a little bit of a sense of, hey, this has been a really loud Disgusted was season. the word, Mike. Yeah, yeah just noisy. Um, so one thing that we wanted to do is kind of get back to the issues. Mm -hmm. uh, we commissioned a couple of artists, and they painted this beautiful mural right outside the Flatiron building, um, which thousands of people have come by already. Oh, wow. Yes. And basically, they can go through it. Yeah, you can see it up there. And they, um, you can stand literally in stand. Different yeah, hashtag from where I stand 2016. Um, and post a little bit on your Instagram story, maybe a couple of the issues that you're interested in. And actually, the one that's gotten some of the most interesting photos is an area that says first time voter. Mm -hmm. ah. and so we're hearing a lot of people who are voting for the first time, and they're sort of saying, hey, like, let's get back to the issues. There's a lot to talk about here beyond just the sort of the bombast of the campaign. We it, feel that too. We've done an so, Issues That Matter series here on our show yeah. too, because we feel like the issues have yeah. maybe fallen by the wayside. It's so interesting, Mike, how far things have come. Because, I mean, if you go back to 2008, as you point out, Instagram didn't exist. We didn't even exist. Yeah. Barack Obama's victory treat in 2008 was retweeted 157 times. <laughs> so, I mean, where, where do you see Instagram's role in this election? I think the biggest change, looking back, I mean, 2012, we were just getting old, started right? baby company, right? Yeah. Um, we didn't have video yet. Mm -hmm. So you imagine Instagram without video. It's a big part of what we do. We didn't have Instagram stories yet. Um, and then this campaign, we're seeing both you know, people engage and voters talk about what they care about. But we're also getting this kind of backstage pass to a lot of the campaigns, which I think is the most humanizing part when you see yep. not just, hey, here's me on a big campaign stage, but you're also seeing, hey, here's me with my family at the end of the day. Like, ultimately, these are people. Because the candidates you know, use it a lot, don't a they? A lot as well, yeah. Yeah, and they each have 2.8 million people following them, and mm -hmm. most of those are people who are 18 to 35. So again, young, many first-time voters there too. How does Instagram deal with cyberbullying? Yeah. People who are posting negative or abusive comments on Instagram. So this is something that both Kevin, my co-founder, and I, from the very beginning, cared a lot about. We would actually spend some of our time in the very early days deleting like bullying and negative mm -hmm. comments, which maybe wasn't the best use of time when we we're just this tiny company with two people. But we yeah. cared really early. We kind of it's had important. a yeah, no jerks policy on Instagram. How difficult is it actually to weed that out? At scale, it gets much harder. So one of the things that we've been doing is we're trying to give people the tools to help control and police that themselves. So yeah. we launched uh, something where if there are words that people are saying on your own comments. We think of your comment as your space. Like you should be able to control yeah. that. So this is actually available to everybody now. Um, we've been rolling it out over the last couple of months where you can say, hey, if you use the, this certain set of keywords, 
it just gets like invisibly blocked on your page, which just starts reducing some of that noise um, on your own profile. Kind of hard to have nasty language when you just want to buy a sweater. <laughs> so shopping is a good thing. Right, exactly. Shopping is a good thing. I think that's a nice yeah. feature. Thank you. Thank Mike you, Krieger. Mike. Good to, good to have, have you at the table for the first here. time. Thank you for having me. Thanks.